Hey guys, welcome back to Rural Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the front bumper cover on a Volkswagen Jetta 5th generation. It will be the same from 05 all the way until 2010 and it will be the same for the Golf as well. Stay with us to see how we're going to do that and don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day. Okay, first we will need to uh, use a T30 socket, okay, to start looking right here. So we need to remove that bolt right there, as you can see, in, this is on the front right side facing the engine. So it's kind of like a screw, not even a bolt, and one on the left side as well. So all together you have two bolts, two screws that you need to remove. Okay, just like that. And now on the bottom. You have two more with a Phillips screwdriver, okay, right there that you need to remove. And those are hidden, as you can see right there. So you need to get them loose, okay, like that. And there is one on this side as well, right there. And you need to get them loose all the way. Sometimes they don't come out because they're in an angle. This one, this, but the one, they are hidden. And now, there is a few clips right here that you need to push in, like that. Okay, and there is one here as well. And okay, once you do that, okay, you can see the grill start coming out. Now there is a clip right here that you need to pull out as well. Okay, and this one here is still holding a little bit because it doesn't want to come out of the hole. But okay, that's, that's how you remove it, guys. Okay, and those were actually, they fell off, so you, you have to make sure that you have those metal, metal plates right here. You see, this one is missing. This one fell off and the other one as well, we need to install it because otherwise you won't be able to get the bottom screws tightened when you install. Okay right, guys, first uh, what you need to do now, you need to uh, jack up the car, leave it on jack stands because we'll need to be laying underneath the phone bumper to remove a few bolts and screws so okay once we have it in the air and if you have the key on the ignition you can actually push on the tar and turn the tar from the outside like that because we need to remove uh, a, a couple of screws right here okay with the t25 right there we need to remove this screw as you can see and they get pretty bad if you, if you have water and rust in those things Okay, as you can see the one on the bottom and now one right there and the third one on top right there. So that's what they look like, they're not very long but they don't go real easy if the, if the vehicle is older and have more miles on it. And after that you need to go to the passenger side and again the same thing, you need to turn the tire all the way to the left now. You can just push it like that and you need to remove the same three screws that we removed on the other side. Okay, one there, that little impact, it's pretty good deal, it saves us quite a bit of time. Okay, one there, and one on top. And all you need to do is just pull them out now. Okay, just like that. Okay, now, now we have a fourth one that uh, we also will need to remove right there, as you can see where it was. And uh, after that there is one that's on top that holds the bumper to towards the fender and it's facing that way so we will need to remove this one as well as you can see where it is so uh, we need to do that same procedure on the other side as well okay that's what this one looks like as you can see so we need to actually go to the other side now and remove these two screws that we did here we, we just forgot about those so now we need to go and do the one there and the one that holds the, toward, towards the fender there. Okay, you see it's hit a little bit here on this side so we'll have less room to show you guys but you'll be able to, to, to find it. It's the same way like the other one right there. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's, it's identical, the same, the same screw like the other ones. Next thing we'll need to go underneath the vehicle and with that T25, okay, right there in the corner, there is one bolt that we'll need to remove, one screw. And there is many now, okay, so second so far. There is quite a few that we'll need to do. This one is with a T20 now. 
Okay, there is two actually. They are next to each other. Now with the T25, again, you just keep going that way. Okay, you can see the one right there. Now if you have the, uh, the engine under cover, you need to remove this one as well. It's with the T25. And you just keep going down the bumper. And there is many right there. There is two of them. One is with the T20, one is with the T25 right there. Just the same thing that we did here and one in the corner as well. Okay, and that's the T20 that we need now for the other side. Okay, so as you can see, we removed all of them on the bottom. Next with the T25 right here, two more screws as you can see on top of the bumper where uh, under the grill actually that's where the grill covers here okay now you have to be careful because nothing else is holding it so if you just pull on it a little bit it's going to come out of the side glides okay like that and the bumper cover guys will come off what we need to do now we need to unhook all the wires so uh, we have the turn signals right here so you need to pull pull the wire out and if you have fog lights you have to undo those as well Okay, huh? this is the bumper cover right here, that's how you remove it guys, that's how you remove it and replace it, pretty simple procedure, thank you guys for watching us, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like, we have a new video on our channel every day.